Inward. This is the place that Marcus mentioned. Looks pretty ordinary. A heavy garage door. The front door. To the back of the house. Whenever there's a back of the house option, you just know you're going to try the front door and it's not going to open. Let's give it a go. You really think it would be unlocked in this neighborhood? An empty mailbox. Confirmed empty when I clicked on it. For real? That thing's got to weigh at least 300 pounds. If you want in there, we're going to have to find another way. Or another sword. No, let's go back tight. Let's go in the back. I'm just trying to curb my tendency. What's going to happen back here? Hi. Huh? Color me crazy, but Yes, we yes, need I help. The window is communicating with us. Please. Oh, so I'm not going nuts. Okay. First thing I thought was going to happen is it was going to say, get in here. The first thing I thought it was going to say was help. But it said, hi. And I was like, that's a weird thing to say. Uh, break the window. Come on. Just break it. But yeah, on a regular basis, I uh, will just go default to going behind houses, and it's actually made me skip content before, so I'm trying to force myself to try the front door every time, even though I know that the moment you see a go around the house option, that means that that's going to be what you do. These roses are flourishing. Front of the house. Yep. An upper floor window. There's a rusty water tap. Doesn't work. All right, just break the window. Okay. Hey, uh, oh, brick. I have a brick. All right. I'm all set up for this. Are you serious? Wow. That was a good try. Yeah, a good try. Stop. Don't say that to me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, the window's mocking me. Did it make fun of my throw too? Besides the OMG, I didn't see it. Uh, Not for nothing, but maybe you should let someone else do that? Agreed. You lack the necessary arm strength to hit your target. Wow, kind of harsh there. I only speak the truth. This is embarrassing. Is a brick that hard to throw? I've never tried. Hey, Brick, Mandana. You're the warrior character. Understood. This should not pose a difficulty. Then she misses again. Oh my god, that was the worst throw I've that ever was seen. one hell of a shot. It was two inches left of center, but close enough. Well, there we go. All right, now we just need to get up there with all the glass. We didn't really plan this, did we? I'm like, how are we gonna get in that window? We, they just, they're like, help break the window. I'm like, okay, uh, no one came out though. Are we supposed to go up there? Am I gonna cut myself? Let me. Oh god, I'm gonna cut myself. That's glad. Okay, that was that one better than I expected. Hi! You made it! Uh. Who are you? I'm a ghost. Ooh. Woo yourself. What are you doing here? Waiting for help. Please hurry. Go this way. How is he? How are they talking on the windows? They're saying they need help, which means that they're probably not a ghost then. They're probably joking with the smiley face and stuff. Fogged window. The note reads, please don't touch the quinoa. D. Oh. Bright and garish tea towels hang on the rack. These oven mitts are quite colorful. Small screwdriver lies abandoned on the floor. Mine. 
An old phone. Looks like Lion was cut. Lion is dead. No one else is coming up here with me, huh? Alright. This seems safe. Ooh. Actor. Eek! <laughs> Quick. You can unlock the door from this side. Put a woman and a dog. Put of a man in a car. Lee, is that you? Is this a prequel to Walking Dead? A picture of her face splattered with something that is probably red paint. Probably. Uh. There's a painter that lives here. There you are. I heard you talking. Is someone in there? Perhaps we should enter and see for ourselves. Hi guys, you made it. Okay, time to cut the crap. State your name now. I'm KK. KK? That's my, it's me. You are a lost spirit and you can do this. Ghosts do not have this ability. That's because I'm special. I'm a spirit guide. I see. You are bound to a living host. A spirit medium. Yes. He's upstairs. He needs help. Oh no, it's somebody else. Go, 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 go. Uh... Okay, that's kind of... that's an emergency. Maybe. What did he do? The hell? I would strongly suggest holstering your weapon, detective. Sorry. Bit jumpy. It's this house. Something about it ain't right. Is it the My ghost? My dad had one of those in his car. I wanted to shoot that one too. End of the hall. Hurry. What if it's a trap? God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can. And wisdom to know the difference. Do you have a defensive barrier set up? Is this cr- helping. Oh, the, you, one day those guys yelling? Accepting hardship as a pathway to peace. What is going peace. on here? He sits cross-legged in the middle of a glowing circle, is changing quietly to himself. It's fuzzy and indistinct, it stares blankly ahead, barely noticing you're even here. Kitschy little back room, uh, bathroom decoration. Mirrored bathroom cabinet. Neat fluffy towels, just waiting for a relaxing bath. So, uh, why did you need help so badly? What's going on here? Uh, hello? Huh? Are you real? Or am I just hallucinating from hunger? What's going on here? Well, that's the question, isn't it? I've been here three days, I think. Didn't think anyone would come. Nevertheless, we are here. My name is Mandana. This is Vicky Santina. I'm Logan Brown. I could really use your help. I guess it's convenient you're stuck next to a toilet then, if you're here for three days. Does it have to do with the ghosts over there? Hold on. You... you can see them. Like, actually see them. In so much as one can see any lost spirit, they have no human form. What do you mean, no human form? It says we don't see any human features, but I do see human features. It's not just a gray cloud. 
They are human-like. They, they, they look like a floating nervous system, kind of. We don't see any human features. What are you seeing exactly? I see people. Two women, one man. They're confused and angry. Not exactly easy to talk to. Let me see if I understand. You can see these spirits, and you can talk to them. Yeah. I see. You are the one KK told us about. The bestower. Yeah, uh, that's me. You know your stuff. You came here to help these three spirits pass on. That's right. Only things went a bit wrong. Tell us what happened. Crap. Easy. Easy now. Shh. Just relax. Okay. She's calm. For now. I kind of need to focus. Can you help me or what? What do you need us to do? I need to know their names. It's the best way to get through to them. Can you do that? Figure out their names? No problem, Logan. You sit tight. Funny guy. So we go pound the pavement, just like any other investigation. I guess. Whatever it takes. I go myself, but I'm kind of trapped. Got it. We'll be back. Thanks. Seriously. So find the names of the people who live here. Probably not that hard. Uh, no names on the towels? As far as I can tell? Yeah? No, not you. I mean, I could. What are your thoughts about this place? I don't like this house. You go on enough cases and you sometimes get a feeling, a, a vibe. Nine times out of ten, it's bull. But the tenth time, it can give you nightmares for life. I mean, I'm guessing like three people were murdered here. Yeah, enough jawing. Yes? What do you think of this place? I can sense an anger that permeates the walls, crying out to be unleashed or quenched. I would suggest the latter. Naturally. All right, what I meant to do is go outside, though. All right, looking for names. End of the hall, hurry. We're done with that. Empty, gray, empty green jade bowl. These abstract oil daubings look to be the work of an amateur. So the people I saw in the photos are not him. I thought that was just his old days, maybe. But no, this is not his house. Tacky plastic Kula girl seems to be motion activated. Does that have a name on it? Or I can just pick it up, I guess. A tacky Hula girl dances when you move. Click to examine. J and A. Okay, so two characters named J and A. And I can unscrew this. Small battery. Yay. I have a battery now, and we got rid of the hula girl, I guess. Alright, well, her, her name the names are J and A. For probably two of the people. That's a start. This room's a mess. Desk is heaped with science homework. Post-it note has the words by ear plugs written in very hard, angry letters. Metal trash can. It looks to be full of ashes. Jesus. Burning documents in a trash can. Could have burnt the whole place down. Why were they burning things? That's the question. Also, the people with this mess weren't the loud people. Their neighbors were loud, apparently. Fisherman's Guide to Common Northeastern Pike. I'm an image of oppressive suburbia. Neat houses crammed closer together. Little houses on the hillside. Picture of an adorable kitty. A bookcase full of dry textbooks and a few dog-eared romance novels. No differences of observ observation throughout there. Dresser spilled over with the rumpled articles of clothing. You don't feel that tidiness was the inha inhabitant of this room's strong point. I find anything though. I don't see anything interactive. And no names. We're in a whole person's room and we can't find a single yes. name. I didn't mean to click on you. Naturally. Oh, any thoughts on yes. Logan? He has remained at his post for days, and yet he seems at peace. Bestower or not, that is a quality to be admired. Naturally. Yeah? 
What do you think about Logan? My instincts say he's on the level. Of course, if he's trapped here, he'd tell us anything, wouldn't he? But between you and me and Sword Lady, I think we can handle it if he turns on us. Yeah, enough jawing. I mean, if his only ability is being a spirit medium and the spirits can't affect us, he is literally powerless against us. He's only... He, his power is in gaining information and communicating with the dead. So he's useful for puzzle solve s solutions and stuff like that, but he doesn't have, like, combat powers. So, yes, between lady with gun and lady with sword, he's kind of not in a good position if he tries to attack us. I can't look at a single thing around here. Not even one thing that has a name? Really? How? Um, can you investigate? You're a cop. Sorry, I have no idea what you want me to do. I want you to- I want you to be a cop. Sorry, I have- Okay, fine. I'll just do everything myself. Okay. It's kind of cleaner in here. Still clothes on the floor. A comfortable chair padded with cushions and draped with warm blankets. There's plants around here. The faint whiff of old marijuana smoke and this peace sign suggests the inhabitants were hippies. That's a bit of a giveaway. An oval mirror ringed with old wooden frame. Okay, I can go in there. A cozy bed heaped with high with pillows. Left night table has a single drawer. Hello. A poem. Framed photo sits in the end table. Okay, same couple we saw before. Uh, they had a daughter. Their daughter read romance novels. They wanted an earplug. Oh. <laughs> they might have wanted earplugs to, to stop hearing their parents having sex. Empty. Might have been genuinely why. A heavy wooden closet lies against the far wall. Huh. Some 70s reject clothes, a tacky umbrella, an old doll. Oh, that's not a good looking... That's that's not a great looking animation. That looks a little weird. Like they had it come out in 3D as opposed to animating it by hand. Nope, nothing in here. I can't... Okay, so I can't look at this. That's... The, the wooden, this wardrobe here is this too. There's, there's no difference of click between there. For Mary Jane, may the roses that bloom from your beloved shell be as sweet and full of joy as the beautiful soul that left it behind. Oh. So first of all, they're pot smokers that named their dog Mary Jane. Second of all, under those roses is the body of the dog. Damn it. That means the poem doesn't give me the name of the person. Uh, is there anything I'd want to use batteries on? Maybe you have to go back downstairs? Is that going to be a part of the puzzle? That in the back there's a dog named Mary Jane? So that's Mary Jane. That dog's dead. Hey KK, do you know their names? Can you give us a hand? Oh I know, you're his spirit guardian. Ah. Don't touch the quinoa. D. I made waffles. Enjoy. A. I'm get. I would guess D is the daughter and A is the mother. Maybe. What were the names on? There was names on the uh. On the doll. But those were J and A, weren't they? So D, J, and A? Or was it M, or was it M and J, like Mary Jane? No, I think it was J and A. The D, J, A, I think are our letters. I probably should be writing them down. 
But I'm, I'm figuring I'm just going to find a full name somewhere. I, I imagine there's not a weird, convenient number of strange puzzles in here where you can just get piece and piece of a name one at a time. You probably just find the name somewhere. Oh, wait, uh, double check the phone. Yeah? Not you. Yeah, enough jawing. You guys come over here? There we go. I just want to see, is there an old phone line was cut? No. What kind of powers do you guys have? Like one of them specifically has a sword. I don't think I really found anything that was jammed closed though. The other one's an investigator? A. I think his name is Art. I don't know. His name could be like Artie or something, or he could just like painting, so he has art, the art mobile. I still think it's crazy you carry a sword of all things. I admit it is not very modern, but it has served me well for centuries. You never thought of upgrading to something more long range? Like your pistol? No. Such a weapon is too unpredictable. Not if you know what you're doing. Hmm. Perhaps one day you can teach me. Sure. But only if you let me swing that sword around. One does not swing it around. But I agree to your terms. It's a date then. She really specifically dislikes anything inconsistent or erratic. Down to guns. For real? That thing's got to weigh at least 300 pounds. If you want in there, we're going to have to find another way. All right. Screwdriver. <laughs> that will not help us. You don't know. You don't know. Levering that door open would require more strength than I possess. Damn it. Do you have any skills? No, I'd pull my back out. Well, fine. I'll do everything myself. The mailbox is empty. These roses are flo are flourishing. There's a water tap, but for what? Doesn't work. Doesn't work, but it is here and interactive. That will not. Let's leave. I wanted to ask that guy if he just knows who lived here. Evening, folks. I said Tina. Did something happen at the Eddings place? Not for me to say. Sorry. But if you really are looking to sell that house, you got your work cut out for you. Three people died at the Eddings place. Do you know who they are? I told you it's not for me to say. Come off it, Marcus. You and I both know you aren't employed by the police. You're employed by the MTA. So? So as far as the cops are concerned, you're a private citizen. You can talk to whoever you want. And I should talk to you because? Because you know me. I wouldn't ask you something like this if it wasn't important. Well, I suppose because it's you. Right on. Thanks, Marcus. You were right. Three people died. The two owners, Art and Jess Eddings, and a student renting out the spare bedroom. Dana something. I forget her last name. Jess was found stabbed in the backyard. Art killed himself in the garage. Dana was found in the basement, also stabbed. Nobody knows exactly what happened, but folks have been steering clear of that place since. I was right. His name is Art. And I was even right about A, J, and D, about who was which, where D was the daughter, A was the... Wait, no? No, I think I guessed A was the mother. I think I guessed that. Also, it's not a daughter, it's just an unrelated student, apparently. Can you tell me about Art and Jess? They lived here 20 years, at least. They're the local artists. Everyone knew them. You'd always see them around the neighborhood. He'd be in that beat-up old car, she'd be walking that old dog of hers. Kind of think of it. Nobody knows what happened to the dog. Hopefully she'll turn up. Uh, I think the dog's dead and buried under the roses. 
What do you know about Dana? Not much. She was a student, I know that. Needed a cheap place to live. Jess and Art like having students around. They vibed off the youthful energy, they said. People have been steering clear of the house? Well, you know, a double murder and a suicide tends to put people off. You wouldn't catch me going in there, I tell you that much. Thanks. See you around. Stay dry out there. Impossible. So, Mondana, you Jins can really tell if someone is lying? Yes, nor can we lie ourselves. It must be rough sometimes. Not especially. It forces most Jins to become clever with words. Most, but not all? Being clever is overrated. She's really forthcoming to the to a fault, where she opens up by talking about how most Jins lie to people. And it's like, I is that really the best opening line to always bring up? About yourself? The only Jin they've met? We found some names. Dana, Art, and Jess. You sure? Let's try it. Are those your names? Art? Jess? Dana? Art? Jess? Dana? What the hell did you just do? No, no. Please, there's no need for this. Art, Dana, Jess. Just relax, fellas. Please. Relax. That was close. Close? That was a poltergeist. Let me guess, that's bad? You have no idea. A poltergeist forms when spirits are corrupted. It is a perversion. It should not happen. At least, it should not happen anymore. Well, it happens now. These ghosts attacked us. They tried to tear KK apart. We barely got the circle up in time. We need to understand what happened here. Fine. I think I've got things under control. If you have questions, ask them now. This isn't intimidating at all. Uh, what's that circle you're standing in? Oh, this? KK taught me how to make it. Ghosts can't cross it. Ghosts as well as any creature of spirit. You know your stuff. I have had experiences with such things, which is why I am concerned. Mages expend tremendous amounts of energy to create them. How did you manage it? Me? I just drew the circle. It was KK who turned it on. That is unprecedented. You and your spirit guide must be very powerful indeed. We're just doing a job, one day at a time. Or we would, if we weren't stuck here. It sounds like his spirit guide's probably a mage? How long have you been here? Two or three days, maybe? I had some energy bars in my pocket. They got me through the worst of it. But yeah, won't be long before my shoes start to look very tasty. What happened here? Like I said, we came here to put these ghosts to rest. Usually it doesn't take much. We talk to them a bit, learn who they are, try and get through to them. But these three, they got violent. Ugly. They went after KK. Tried to rip her to shreds. Poor kid was terrified. Kid? Just how old are we talking? She's ten. Jesus, what happened? We got the circle up. It calmed them down long enough for her to escape. We've been separated ever since. If she comes in here, the ghosts attack her. I leave the circle, the ghosts attack me. So, you see my dilemma here. You couldn't call anyone. All the spiritual energy screws in my phone. But even still, I couldn't bring anyone else in here. Too dangerous. Why aren't the ghosts attacking me or my friends? Because they don't know you're here. Ghosts barely see other people. Only me and KK. As long as I don't provoke them, they won't go crazy again. And you couldn't risk bringing anyone else here for the, for that reason, but then also we're fine? Uh, hearing those two explanations back to back feels like a contradiction? Although I don't know what anyone else could do to say to help you if they can't do anything about the ghosts themselves. Why couldn't we see KK outside? She is not a lost spirit, but an aware spirit guide. Different rules apply. KK and I are bonded at the soul. Only I can see her. It's the way it's always been. Like beyond two souls? 
Have ghosts attacked you before? No. Ghosts are normally harmless. Confused and alone, but harmless. Usually I could talk them down, find some point of connection, get them to trust me. But these guys, they won't even listen. They just hate. You are not alone. Supernatural beings have been getting progressively stronger. So things are just gonna get worse? I cannot lie. Things will get worse. I am sorry. Well, one thing at a time. Let's focus on getting me out of here. Then I'll worry about how screwed I am. We saw a ghost in East Village the other day. You did? Is it still there? I can only assume so. Well, get me out of here and I'll be happy to check it out for you. It's the least I could do. How do you usually get help of a ghost move on? It depends. Usually we talk to them, convince them they are actually dead. Sometimes an object works, something that they are attached to, something that reminds them of who they are. So what can we do to help you? I don't know. With other ghosts, KK does most of the talking. Ghosts relate to her more, being a ghost herself. But I'm on my own this time. These three won't listen to me. They're just so angry. So I hope you guys have some ideas, because I'm out. My knowledge of lost spirits is minimal, but I have heard Eli speak of them. Poltergeists do not occur naturally. We need to discover how these three died. An investigation, huh? That I can handle. Sounds like Eli is the person I should have brought then. I make the worst choices. <laughs> Not that I can know in advance necessarily what I'm getting into. The tight Logan, we'll, we'll be back. Believe me, I'm not going anywhere. Poem? I can't drag the poem though, it just opens when I click on it. Are we gonna have to dig up the dog? Is that what we're talking about here? Lost spirits cannot communicate with the living. Yeah? Yeah, enough jawing. I'm not used to these party members following me around. I keep clicking on them accidentally. 